praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, you can do better than that. Praise the Lord, everybody. God, he is worthy to be praised this morning. We bless him for his goodness, his mercy that he has extended to all of us. Amen. And we're so grateful once again just to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. This time we're going to ask everyone, if you will, if you would stand on your feet at this time for a moment of consecration. Amen. Amen. Let us bow our heads. Amen. While you're standing, we're going to be reading our theme saying, which is taken from Matthew, the fifth chapter, verses 44 through 45. And it declares, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven. Our request scripture is taken from Philippians, the fourth chapter, verses four through six. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be made known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And our permanent prayer request is that Bishop Baker, Bishop Morgan, and the church family request that we rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing that the church stay on one accord, that the house of prayer continue to be established in peace, and that God's will be done in each individual request in all nations of the world. With that being said, we're going to have our ministers come, Minister Thomas, Minister Perkins is going to come and do our scripture and our prayer. Amen. 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 Let, let us pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, once more and again we come into this house of prayer to honor you, to glorify your name. We thank you this morning for life, for health, and for strength. We thank you, Father, for the saving of our soul. We thank you, Father, for giving us a mind to want to live and do what is right in your presence and out of your presence. We just ask this morning, Father God, that you will come into the midst of this, these your people, into this sanctuary, and have your way in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask in you this morning also that you continue to bless our, our, our bishop, our mother, each and every one, Father, under the sound of my voice that is in this house this morning. Bless those who are viewing by Facebook. Bless those who are, who are listening by conference call. Continue to uplift their spirit, Father, and bless them as only you can do. And again, Father, have your way in this service today and bless your people. We give thanks unto you, Father. We honor you for being the God that you are. Father, on this prayer roll, you know each and every name, every situation, and every condition. Father, if there's deliverance, Father, you deliver. If there's healing, Father, you heal. And set free, Father, in the name of Jesus. Bless this house. Bless these your people, Father, in the name of Jesus. Because if you don't do it, it won't be done. Have your way and bless your people. In Jesus' name we do pray. Thank God and amen. Remain standing for the reading of the scripture. I'll be coming from Psalm 100. To make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Amen. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. Amen. At this time, we're going to get ready for the ministry of giving. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask our 
offices if you will prepare yourselves at this time. Will you bow your heads? Eternal Father, we thank you now. Even as we come in the ministry of giving, we realize, Lord, that all good and all perfect gifts come from above. Lord, your word declares that as long as the earth remains, there will be seed time and there will be a harvest. And God, as we sow and give, we're simply saying we trust you. So God, as we honor you today and our little, you are a great multiplier. You can take a little and you can be a great multiplier that will, be, that will bless a multitude. So God, we ask that you would bless us today. Watch over every seed that is sown. Watch over our tithe. And at the appointed time, bless us according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. Can I ask our, our uh, praise team, choir, you may come at this time. Also, want to remind you that if you're going to do your Congress or when you do it, you can do it every Sunday and you just write on the envelope and, and the officer will put it or place it where it needs to be. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask if you will stand in the overflow and you may turn to the wall and you may start from the front and go back and Brother Tim will receive the offering. If you will stand in the sanctuary on my left and on my right, our officer will lead you from the rear and you may come at this time. Amen. Bless the Lord for the ministry of giving. Amen. Come on, you can do better than that. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. What's the name of that song, Brother Andrew? Yeah. How many of y'all know when you got up this morning, it wasn't the sun outside, but he brought the sunshine in your life. Amen. Come on, I just need you for about 30 seconds to get on your feet and just give God a praise. over to the hands of the praise and worship team. I, I was just thinking for a brief moment. Um, even on the other night, uh, I was watching the Denver Nuggets and the Miami Heat playing uh, basketball. For, and, you know, they're playing for the, the, the NBA championship. And, and so many of my relatives in Miami, you know, they the heat, the heat. 
And, and I said, man, you, you haven't really looked at the statistics. And, and the statistics are really against us. Now, I'm not a Heat fan, so, but I said the statistics are really against you guys. You know, I said the overall team is the Nuggets going to win this thing. And, and they was a man won't want to hear that. I said, that's fine. Whether you hear me or not, it's going to happen. But I just want to serve notice today, whether you hear me or not, we are winners. The stadium in Miami like that, knowing that the odds are against them, bro. And I mean, some people, they were saying the seats on the front row was like $300,000. And here we are, God asked us for 10%. <laughs> but they don't care how much the seat costs. They just want to be in the atmosphere. There's an atmosphere in here this morning that God has already said. Too, but we gotta move. Hallelujah. I'm 
you glad that the son obeyed the father yes. the bible says that he became obedient even unto death yes. even unto the death of the cross and because he did that god gave him a name that's above every name that at the name of jesus every knee has got to bow every tongue has got to confess that jesus christ is lord when god speaks something has to happen amen Hallelujah. Listen. Y'all ready? Here we go. Listen. Say, my God brains. My God brains. I got brains, yeah. My God brains. Say, Lord, you brain.
He was God before he called me to preach. He's our God. I'm not your God. What God has done for us right here in this group that nobody else could have done, we should not get tired of giving him praise. Hallelujah. I've heard some men say it. You know, we can say a lot of things when we're talking and feeling good. But can we keep what we say? Can we honor what we say to the one we're sending about? I've heard it said from the body of Christ, if I had 10,000 tongues, I could not thank him enough. Use that one. Come on, give him a hallelujah. Come on, give him a hallelujah. Oh, this is a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, this is a hallelujah. It has got to become personal between the individual and God. I don't know what he's done for you if you don't share. You don't know what he's done for me if I don't share. But even that I share, that just a touch of the iceberg per se. I cannot tell all of the things that God has done for me. But I can show expression. And he did not say in the scripture that everybody got the Holy Ghost. Give him a praise. He did not say in the scripture, everybody been called to preach, give him a praise. He did not say in the scripture, everybody prophesied, give him a praise. He did not say in the scripture, everybody been healed, give him a praise. He did not say everybody been delivered, give him a praise. But everybody that had breath. talking about your breath. We're talking about the breath that he breathed in Adam and he became a living soul. With breath, it tells that we are a living soul and we give God the glory. Hallelujah. Just being a living soul. A body may be afflicted but my soul My soul is well. Oh, anybody's soul is well. It belongs to God. The soul belongs to God. Give God a praise from the depth of your soul. Do we really, really, do we really, really cry to the Lord for all of His goodness, for all of His mercy? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. My God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There's none like Him. There are other gods with the little s, but there ain't but one God with a capital G. There's many little gods with a, a small G, but there's not but one God with a capital G. And that one God says he's king of kings, he's lord of lords, he's the great I am. Hallelujah. My God, I am that I am. What do you want God to be to you? You say, I am that I am. That 
was not who he was and was told to tell God's people in Egypt. 400 years of bondage. God did not give Moses the word to tell his people who he was. His people knew who he was because they were praying to the true and living God. God told Moses to tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. God is telling your sickness, I am that I am. He's telling cancer, I am that I am. Jesus. Don't have any problem honoring Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, all of the other names, but there's still people having a problem acknowledging Jesus. Glory be to God. It is not at Buddhist. It is not at the name Confusion. It is not even at the name God, capital G, G-O-D. It is at the name of Jesus. Every knee goes down. Hallelujah. Every sickness goes down. Every disease goes down. We cast out devils in Jesus' name. Oh, I know there are three but one, but you got to learn to trust his name. Trust his name. as a church through the baptism of the Holy Ghost. But Alger Morgan, Bishop Morgan, Pastor Morgan ain't Jesus. We might as well get our eyes on people just because he had worked more than in somebody. Don't you get caught up in somebody. His name is Jesus. He's the only one get healed. That devil's tremble. I want to say hell notice and put you on in remembrance when we are praising God and exalting the name of Jesus. Demons can't do nothing because they're trembling. Hallelujah. Demons ain't in here controlling nobody now. If you're calling on the name of Jesus, if you don't call on him, he's still trembling. Hallelujah. Don't 
play with me. Hallelujah. Don't play with me. Don't play with your pastor. Hallelujah. I want you to say it too bad. I want you to live holy. I want you to be righteous. I've been called. Talking to someone the other day, just this past day. And I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Glory be to God. God was God when I was living in that little shack over 57 years ago with Sister Morgan and I and raising two or three of our daughters. He was just as much God when we were going to the outhouse. He just as much God then as he is at 998 Wilberforce. Just as much God when I was driving a smoking car. And the one I drive now that well register to roll. He's God from then to now. He's God over everything. He's God that has given me everything. Glory to him. It didn't just become God because I've gotten a little something. He didn't become God when I became a little knowledgeable or something. He didn't become God because I got a little education. He's been God all the time. We ought to praise him like he's God. We ought to praise him like he's God. He's a just God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Didn't deserve it. Glory be to God. Didn't deserve it. I thank God I preached a message about 25 years ago. Thank God he didn't give me what I deserved. Glory be to God. But he gave me his best. He gave me his son, Jesus. None of us have done anything to deserve to be boasted and lifted up. We're to be appreciated for the God that's in us. That we're able to live a life to bring God glory and to serve one another. Glory be to God. But none of us has done anything good enough for God to love one more than he do another one. Come on now, if you think that, you're missing the whole glory of God. None of us has done anything so bad to stop God from loving us. And none of us can do nothing so good to make God love us. He just love us. Come on, open your arms to a loving God. He just love us. Come on now, just give him a big embrace. He love us, the love of God that shed it abroad in our hearts. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. We've taken the word love out of context so much until now we begin to copy the world. But that ain't the kind of love we're talking about. That ain't the kind of human love we're talking about. When humans say to their mate or to a girlfriend or to a boyfriend, oh, I love you. That's human love. But we're talking about the agape God love. And the agape God love works no ear. It hurts no one. Come on, y'all ain't here for me. I say God love will not hurt no one. God love is kind. God love is long-suffering. God love is gentleness. My God. It does not cease to amaze me when church folks, hallelujah, get a little church in them, my God, and have respectable person who they love and forget that we once was that way. If God did not have peoples that he lived in then to love me when I was a sinner, when I was a growing saint, 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I wouldn't have made it. And who am I and us now to look down on a sinner? Look down on somebody that would end up in our midst. And just because they haven't confessed Christ, just because they got habit, just because they're weak, just because they smoke a little weed, just because they do whatever sinners do. Who am I and us as Christ's representative to scorn anybody? We won't do that at Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We will not do it. Not the church. Not the born again church. So we got to make a difference. My God, you got to make a difference between clean and unclean. Yes. You got to make a difference between the church and those that go to the church. Yes. Glory be to God. You got to make a difference between those who are holy and non holy. I'm talking about the church of the living God, the born again, blood washed, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled church will never demean anybody. We'll never exhort ourselves to make somebody else look bad and we look good. Well, I'm preaching good right now. If there's no hope for the unsaved through the church, through the house of prayer, through the song we sing, the message we preach, if we give no hope to the ungodly, who are we? Remember those times when you was afraid to go into a Pentecostal Holy Ghost church. Glory be to God. We didn't have any problem going to religion, but dare we at some point to go to a sanctified Holy Ghost, those old holy rollers. My God, hallelujah. Those old hell-talking people that don't want you to go there, dare we go in the midst of it. When people can come into the midst of the house of prayer, Pentecostal holiness, like we once did. My God, it wasn't you and my preaching, their preaching, it was God drawing them. So you ought to be glad that God is drawing people our way, instead of pushing them away. Hallelujah. My God, no one can come to the Father except they are drawn. By the Son and the Father. Hallelujah. And let us continue to come to that place where we love you one another. Yes. Glory be to God. How you, how you know that God is love? Because he loved me enough to send his son Jesus to pay the sin debt on Calvary. Past, present, and future sin. But how do we know God loved us through people because they love us the same way. Jesus never scorned any sinner. Even a woman at the well. Oh, I'm preaching good. You waiting on a text, but I'm preaching good. Hallelujah. Glory. We tried all these texts. We tried rhymes. We tried all of this staying with the text. And none of it is working because there's too much flesh in it. Just get up and preach Jesus. Just get up and talk about the goodness of God. Just get up and exalt his name. So he'll save. He'll deliver. He's touching right now. He's touching right now. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. How many times we sit in the midst? unsaved our daughters and sons now closer to the Lord than ever were because they sit in service like this and they were saying someday I want to live like that someday I want to overcome someday I want to be delivered I'm tired of doing this and doing that glory be to God Hallelujah. we don't need to wait till people get saved and say the saints love me. They need to know it right now. They need to know it right now. Glory to God. You need to continue to live a life. Don't fool yourself. Just because people don't have the Holy Ghost. They're not preaching another gospel. They know who loving. Come on. They know when you're faking. They know when you're putting on. I've heard people say, them old saints. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That's old pretenders. Come on now. They think they're better than anybody. That's them pretenders. Glory. Ain't none of them saints right. That's them they see at clubs. Dog tracks. 
as, as though they see at work saying one thing and living another. But the church of the living God. Hallelujah. We represent God at all times. Hallelujah. My God. For over 30, almost 40 years, I've learned not to try to make people happy. That's not my responsibility. If I preach Jesus and you don't get happy, your fault. Hallelujah. Nobody can make you happy like Jesus can. My God. There is a happiness that resembles the same way Jesus blessed you and someone blessed you. Now, if you were broke and you needed a thousand dollars and you didn't tell nobody or you asked somebody and they put a thousand dollars in your hand, don't tell me you wouldn't do something. Hey, you holler, you jump, because they met your knee. Glory to God. But if you go back to them the second time, they cut it down to 500. You go back the third time, I ain't got it. But you can go to God as many times as you like. God got it. What you need, God got it. I said, God got it. If you need healing, if you need deliverance, if you need joy, if you need service, if you need peace. Oh, I'm trying to preach. Trying to preach you. Glory be to God. Living in a time where people's acting like they got it. Glory, but you ain't you can't get it from God and still act. Glory be to God. I say you can't get what God put in you and still act. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But acting like they say. Hollywood do that. Glory be to God. My God. We're not going to take on a copycat spirit. Lord, we're not going to copy the saints on Sunday morning and act like the world Monday through Saturday. Y'all better hear me, hallelujah. You either got to be saved all the time or you're not saved none of the time. I know I take a lot of heat. That's why I need you to pray for me. I can feel it on the side. I can feel it. My God, when I start coming out, not you, I can feel the heat of the devil. I can feel the heat of unclean spirit. Yeah. Yeah, they touch me and say, I don't like what you did today. Yeah. Blessing the peoples about God. Yeah. But you might well get used to it, Satan. Because yeah. so you've been defeated. You have no control over your lips. Glory be to God. Unclean spirits is off limit with me. Come on, somebody ought to put up a sign in your joy. And tell unclean spirit off limit. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Your praise ought to tell unclean spirit no vacancy. Hallelujah. No room in the end. Hallelujah. Your singing of songs, amazing, great. How sweet it is. Ought to tell unclean spirit I'm done with the world. Y'all ain't happy me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Who telling you God won't hear you? It ain't none of God. Who telling you God won't deliver you? It ain't none of God. Who telling you God won't forgive you? It ain't none of God. Holly, who's in hell? Call up on the name of the Lord. They shall be saved. Shall can be right now. Shall can be tomorrow. Shall can be next week. But if you call him today, you shall be saved. Right now. He's a deliverer. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's a healer. Yeah. He's a forgiver. Yeah. He'll sanctify you. Yeah. He'll fill you with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You can't act like the old man Hallelujah. when your mind begins to be renewed. Yeah. You can't act like the old man when your mind begins to become in the mind of Christ. Glory be to God. 
Don't you do nothing but love God and preach the truth. His people's God is working in the atmosphere and you, me, haven't said anything to him. His people's getting tired of smoking dope. His people getting tired of shacking and hanging out. Oh, that's a few going to do it, but they're going to get tired. Let's just love them. Say amen. Glory be to God. As people not getting tired of being tired of being tired. Glory be to God. I got anybody like me got tired one day? Hallelujah. You get tired of doing something. You take a rest. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And rest is nowhere but in Christ Jesus. I say rest is nowhere but in Christ Jesus. In righteousness. Glory be to God. Well, if we're going to be a Pentecostal Holy Ghost church, we might want to begin to do it. Don't act like it. Let's do it. Glory be to God. People are making billions of dollars a year by stealing words out of the Bible, perfecting it in the world realm, and buying it up. Michael Jordan didn't come up with the word, just do it. He's in here. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Can y'all hear me? He said, here. The day and hour you hear my voice, just do it. Glory be to God. And we'll spend billions of dollars trying to imitate. My God, fashion the world. Ain't nothing wrong with looking good. Ain't nothing wrong with dressing good. But when you're thinking, go to call you to do things to impress the world. Oh, my God, you need to clean up your stinking thinking. My God, I smell something. I smell something in the midst of us. I hope it ain't coming from the saints that testify of him. But the scripture said, those that testify of me, Mark Bullock would say, we need to clean up. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing wrong with you partying until you get tired of it. You can't make me say it's all right. Ain't nothing wrong with a person choose to lay with a man and a man with a man. But you can't make me say it's God's way. Ain't nothing wrong with a woman and want to choose to lay with a woman. God give all of us a choice. But you can't make me say it's all right. The devil is a lie. Glory to the Son. It ain't never all right to sin. Glory be to God never all right to sin. If it was all right, then Jesus going to Calvary to pay the sin debt was needless. It was wrong. But it was right. Glory be to God. So how can Jesus pay a sin debt that wasn't right and we gonna call it right? Come on, stop acting like people. Stop trying to get the approval of people. That's right. You're going to preach, preach Jesus. Amen. Don't preach for the approval of the people. Amen. Come on, glory be to God. The same people, before I get a benediction, may be upset with me now. But I preach Jesus, and Jesus is going to touch him before the benediction. Amen. And they're going to get it right with Jesus. I don't want to know who's right with me and who's wrong. I don't want to know who's talking about me and who ain't. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. My God. But if you listen to the word of God, there's going to be a change. Amen. You can't say I'm sanctified and I love God and I'm a preacher and I'm this and I'm that for the Lord and don't change. There we say we got the Holy Ghost. Sanctified. Or even backsliding saints done learn how to hold on to their testimony. No, they got sin and conceived in them. But they still can say I'm sanctified. Holy Ghost fear. Fire baptized. Running for my life. Glory God on my side. Hallelujah. Get sin out of your life. Yes. Glory. And people's a seed. Right. Glory. I said people's a seed. Yes. Glory be to God. And God is trying now. Don't have any problem as a preacher. Yeah, I got notes and a text. And I'm going to preach it before I leave this earth. If you get tired of it, I'm going to preach it before I leave this earth. But today and every day. I have to be subject to the Holy Ghost. And I know the Holy Ghost has kept us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost has ministered to somebody. Glory be to God. You know, we're living in a time where people put in their GPS system, and it's so important 
the GPS system is so important that even if your car don't have it, you can put it in your phone. And you don't have to have no 10, no thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollar smartphone. Here to do it with a, a dumb phone. GPS system can come with a dumb phone. But we want all that other stuff just to be impressive. But do you know we would put in a GPS system and rely on Google, rely on the GPS system traveling. Turn right in 200 yards. Turn right now. And we turn. Since I've been up, I've been asking us to respond to the G.O.D. system. Turn left yeah. and you find against me. Turn right now, you find against me. Be holy right now, you find against me. It's amazing how we obey earthly things. But God got something in it. The satellite that's in the sky that tell you to turn right. If God didn't approve it, and if God would just touch the atmosphere up there, he couldn't say a word. Glory be to God. I recall a time a few years back, and I'm closing. A few years back, Sister Morgan and I, and Lisa and Cal, we went to St. Louis to a Church of God in Christ convocation been in several of them, but this particular event, I don't have any problem gathering with the saints locally or regionally or international. I've been to all three. I don't have a problem gathering with the saints because wherever the saints are there, that's a blessing. Amen. Come on now, glory. Amen. It doesn't matter whether they under that name and that city, if you get with the saints, yes. those sanctified peoples, those Holy Ghost fear people, you get with them and us. God is in the midst. Hallelujah. And we was coming back, headed back home after earthquake in Arkansas, Little Rock. We was in Missouri, in about the upper room of the hotel, just relaxing getting ready for another service. And we were sitting there talking and we felt something moving. Glory be to God. And we looked at each other and we looked at the curtain on the wall. They was moving. And we said, well, what's going on here? And later we found out, moments later, it was a vibration from an earthquake. We could have been gone. Over in Arkansas. Shook. St. Louis, where we was living at at that time. And I said, well, we're not going to the next service. We're going home. Glory. Something you just can't take a chance. You just got to flee it. Say. I, don't know, I, I couldn't do nothing with the other... 40,000 that was there. But I could make the decision for those with me. As soon as they ain't quiet down, we leaving. We going home. And put in the GPS system direction back home. And on our way back home, we got hungry. And we turned to go to a restaurant. And the GPS system said, make a U-turn now. I mean, I didn't want to make no U-turn. I'm going to eat. <laughs> Take a left now. And when we got through eating, got back on the road, I knew another way. I didn't want to go that way. I wanted to go another way and get to where I was going. And I knew how to read road signs need GPS now. The GPS said, turn now. And I wouldn't do it. Take a right now. Let me tell you, even the system got tired of me. 
and got tired of telling me to do what it said do and I didn't do. It just went dead. I mean, it, it blew up. It didn't work no more. I had to get a new one. Ain't you glad God don't get tired of us? Oh, oh, I want to say that again because y'all, some of y'all doing everything right. But then now, aren't you glad God didn't get tired of us? Tell us to do this. Tell us to obey. Tell us to preach. Tell us to prophesy. Tell us to love. Tell us to forgive. Tell us to repent. Hallelujah. And we don't do it. I'm glad he don't get tired of me. And I would encourage us today. I would encourage our grown children, grown daughters, grown son. The Bible didn't change because you got grown. You dis respect your mother and father, your day can get cut short. Thank you, one or two, raise your hand. I appreciate Amen. that. I said, you grown children done got grown on your own. You better always treat your mother and father right. Amen. My God. Because your day can get cut short. Just because you get grown, it didn't change the scriptures. I'm preaching good and ain't nobody saying Glory be to Thank you. Thank you. And you grown mothers and fathers. The Bible didn't change when it tell you don't provoke your child to wrath. Glory be to God. I ain't here but one or two on that. Glory be to God. The Bible don't change because we get grown. Hallelujah. Lord, you may do what you want to do when you get grown, but you can't change this. God love us. And I want to encourage us as his dear little children, as believers, when you get sanctified and Holy Ghost filled, called by God, ordained by God, then we become his dear little children. Glory be to God. And I encourage God, dear little children, same thing applied to us. He said, obey those got rules over you. Amen. Glory be. Don't get grown, dear little children. Hallelujah. Well, can't nobody tell you nothing. Amen. Pastor always saying this and saying, you ought to be glad you got a pastor cried against sin. Amen. You ought to be glad you got a pastor cried against these unclean spirits trying to take over our children. Y'all be glad you got a, pa a preacher out of town called Minister John Lindsay that stood bold and preached against pedophile. Yeah. And they done came out with a new thing, grown pedophile, talking to our children on these smartphones, yeah. luring them. Yeah. Right, yeah. Glory be to God. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Used to be a commercial. 10 o'clock. Pam, do you know where your children are? Yeah. Yeah. Some children saying it's 10 o'clock. Yeah. Where are my mother and father? Yeah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory be to God. You may not be on a chain, but you ought to be in place. You ought not to be doing nothing to cause your children to be provoked to disobey you. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. I'm talking to all of us. Thank you, dear heart. Talking to all of us. Some of us are blessed more highly than others. Thank you. Healing is coming your way, Sister Francis. We pray you won't even have to have that surgery. Hallelujah. Pray that God will move in your mind. Heal you spiritually, physical, and mentally. Your doctor, doctor said we need surgery. My God, sometimes doctor can make things worse. Someday God will tell you, live with it. And don't don't be despised over a limb. It's all right, sir. 
sometimes a limp will let you know I'm staying with God or I've been with God. Jacob cried all night long. I ain't gonna let you go. He wasn't crying out. He wasn't crying out to heal me. He said, I ain't gonna let you go till you bless my soul. he disapprove of you going to the doctor. Nothing wrong with going to the doctor. If God speak to you and say, live with it. You can't die from it. Y'all hear what I just said? If God said, live with it. You can't die from it. Glory be to God. I want to encourage us. All over Facebook line. We are blessed. Yes, we are. We have beautiful young girls grown up to be beautiful young ladies. Whether you was adopted or birthed biological by your mother, it could have been the other way. Glory be to God. You could have been raped. His fathers molesting their sons and daughters. And you come into a home birthed into a family where you got a mother done carried you nine months done took care of you from a child up and why you was fussing now about how grown you are you don't remember how they turn up their nose and still had to wipe your nasty bottom doesn't matter whether you amen to me or not I'm, I'm talking I told y'all I'm the bishop God told me point me to be the bishop to keep what out, out, That's what right. in, in. Amen. I ain't talking about just this ministry because people can come in here as they are. That's right. But I can keep it out of the church. Yeah. If the church will hear me, yeah. glory, some things I'm trying to keep out of you. Yeah. That's some unclean spirits. Yeah. Glory be to God. They get in you and make you saved. And make you ashamed. Oh, the bishop ought not to say it. And I'm not finding you. His unclean spirit. That want to take you over. Take your children. God has allowed us. Again. To have sons and daughters. Mothers and fathers. It's a blessing. That we can find out. In life. Some things that we need answers to that we didn't get, but when you get it, you'll still appreciate those that were there for you. Amen. Thank you. Sister Jackenza, speak to you. Sister Angie, grandmother of little uh, Annette, be thankful. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody fool you. Glory be to God. Someday you probably will find out, because Google and you can do research, you can do background check, and you can find out at some point who your biological father is, your biological mother, but don't you ever forget your kinsa. Right. Don't you ever forget your surprise. Don't you disrespect him. Don't let nobody fool you. Glory be to God. And you adult children and you young children, you biological children are destiny and Jordan, my God. We were 13, 14 years old. We weren't too old to get a whooping. Yes, sir. That's right. Some, some of our children have grown up to be uh, sassy, disobedient. Called them, I ain't going to hurt my pretty little thing. Glory be to the, the Bible says, spare the rod, spoil the child. We got some children called mama and, and daddy. They were their little precious child. They're spoiled. 
glory if it just just spoil what the old people used to call, excuse me, Facebook line, and you in the audience if you can't handle it. But we used to use term on the Muddy and and, and Mud Law Bates and all them. Amen. They say you spoil rotten. Yes. But I'm gonna I'm gonna freshen you up. <laughs> They knew how to freshen us up. They knew how to cut the rot off the, the fruit. My God, hallelujah. But we got too many spoiled children that heard the truth. Some of you spoil your children. I pleaded with you. It ain't too late. If you start now, glory be to God. You, 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 you need to be careful. We cannot, we're in a time where parents, church family, can't even come together for dinner without. And they ain't all children. Grown folks. Can't hardly fellowship. Sometimes you just have to turn it off. Don't put it on mute. Turn it off. What if God would put us on mute? What if God would turn us off? I'm not trying to boss you. Somebody need to cry against these unclean spirits. And if you get to the point to where I don't like what he said, he ain't got no business talking like that. I buy my child what I want. You buying trouble? Because it ain't your child that you got a problem with. It's some unclean spirit that hear you. When you're in rebellion, those unclean spirits, you make it illegal for them to talk to you. You're making it legal for them to have access. Glory be to God. We need to be careful. Don't do anything to abuse one another. And I know I'm talking. It's just some things I really don't know. And it's some things that just had not really been said to me to help you. If you come to me with anything, I'll give you good advice. But do not prosper over your sister and brothers and nobody. You hustle somebody, somebody gonna hustle you. Glory be to God. Don't do wrong and causing disobedience to reverse sickness on you. Don't do wrong and sin and do wrong and causing sin to be reversed on you. It can't happen, y'all. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Stay where you can call on Jesus. Stay where you can trust one another. Saul, Samuel, wanted to get in touch with the dead. But leave them dead for long. You don't know where they at. But stop talking about my, my friend is, is in here. You don't know where they at. Glory. Stop trying to make contact with the dead. In a negative way. Are y'all hearing me? You're not going to hear what the Bible said. If you're not going to hear one that's already among you living, you're not going to hear someone from the dead. Lord. Oh, if I could hear Big Mama voice again, you better hear Jesus' voice. Glory to God. Calling up the dead. These unclean spirit, you call them up. They done attack some of us. That's why we can't obey. You're being controlled by unclean spirit that make you ashamed to just get up and say, I was wrong. I conducted myself in a way it was wrong. It causing friction in the body. Y'all forgive me. I may not know. That one may not know. But you're asking forgiveness from the person that do know. That's right. Sometimes you can just call friction. Glory be to God. Sometimes you can just get a shock. Glory be to God. Stop trying to do those things. Well, I thank you for listening to what God would have to say. We got uh, our young people, our young wives. Amen. I hear mother crying out. Others are crying out. Those that are. We need mentors. I was sharing with a brother on yesterday afternoon. We need mentors. Yeah. Glory be to God. 
and mentors from the world is the same thing. But the Bible said we need examples. Amen. We need saints to be mentors. We need wives that God has delivered. And you know if God had not intervened, you wouldn't be talking about I got a sweet husband. Right. You too would be saying, I had a sweet husband, it went bad. I, 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 I tried another husband, he went bad. I tried another husband. And you're going to keep trying husband until you do it God's way. And we ain't got nothing to brag about. Glory be to God. The reason some of our husbands are so sweet because we got them under control. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We're supposed to love one another. And I'm not being ugly, Uncle Bob. My God, I'm being honest. How can I shout? How can I arouse you when God tell me to warn you? And that's all I'm doing. God spoke to me clearly. I get ready to get up. He said, warn my peoples. And if you fail to do it, the blood of... I can't... I, I, I'm not responsible how you respond to me. Anger, frustration, upset, talk about me, scandalize my name. I can't control that. Well, Only thing I can control is that I obey God. Right. And I warn you. Amen. And if I warn you, when I see the sword coming, there's a word coming. The sword represents the word good or bad. Yeah. The enemy is planning the word. And I hear him in the spirit realm. Go down there and cause him problem with Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Church. Cause I don't like them to be talking about my demonic forces. I don't like it when they talk about my unclean spirit. Go down there and make war with them. Disrupt the marriage. Glory be to God. Put intimate among them. Let them fight among themselves. But the devil is a lie. You don't choose to live right. I'm going to cry loud and spell out. I'm going to lift up my voice like a trumpet. So be it. I applaud other pastors that do what God say do. Preach what God tell them to preach to the congregation they're over. But I applaud myself if you don't applaud. I'm going to preach what God said preach. Say what God say say. I'm going to do what God said do. Hallelujah. When that day come, and he say, well done. So many people want to hear, well done. That's good. But ain't, that ain't the conclusion of the whole story. I want to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. We got to be faithful, y'all, unto death. It ain't good enough to say a few sweet things, my God, and don't be faithful got a lot to be thankful. I'm going to pray for those that have family members here. I'm going to call for the family to stand, your biological family. And then those that need a healing. There's a healing spirit been with us for the last few months. And in the midst, there's a deliverance spirit been with us for the last few seasons. There's a salvation spirit been with us for the last few months. There's a repentant spirit been with us for the last few months. There's a forgiving spirit been with us for the last few months. Glory to We are so thankful. Miracle has been wrought. Sister Marvin, we're so happy to have her back in our service for the last several weeks. She was in an accident. Could have taken her out of here. In the hospital. Not because of COVID. An accident. Glory be to God. Kept in the hospital for several weeks. Then go to physical therapy. Then at home. Still unable to walk. Totally. And here God done worked a miracle. She's yeah. been back in the service. For several weeks. Now, several service. And don't tell me we don't have something to thank God for. We're just not looking around. And we'll have you in just a moment. We have Sister Morgan. 
Brother Hezekiah, Brother Ernest, and, and Tyrone and his wife who joined the church and, and, and reconciled back to the body of Christ. We thank you, Tyrone, and Sister Stoudemire, Sister Lord. We thank y'all. Glory be to God. I know some of this is new. And, 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 saying, I, I, I got a ways to go, but you're on your way. Glory to God. Very, very intelligent, very smart. Glory be to God. And someday, we're going to hear her sing. But she's not pushing for that. My God, she's just glad to be here. And then we have their brother in our midst, Leon. Leon. Thank you for what you're doing, how you're serving one another, how you're visiting, saying our sister-in-law. God is no good to Sister Morgan and the brothers than he is to her. But she's in the hospital. We believe in by this time, this afternoon, she'll be at home in a condition. Amen. She need our prayers. We thank God for our sister-in-law. Robin and others, our daughters that are visiting her at the point in time. Her husband, Thomas, her sons, TJ, Chad, and those that are supporting her. But ain't nobody like the saints. Nobody. I'm not telling you to run on there and flood the hospital. I'm making you aware so you can pray. Yes. And show God that you love one another and you're not condemning somebody and trying to make it be sin. Because they're sick. All sin. Sickness not from sin. And I shared with you a few days ago. What God allowed to happen. He used that to perfect us. And so we thank you. Pray for our sister-in-law. Their sister. God, that God will continue to keep her closed in our right mind. The best thing about our sister-in-law, Sandra, that's laying in the hospital bed, I'm convinced by her testimony, she saved. Yeah. She's sin free. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we thank you. Uh, Willie Willis family, the Thomas family, and the Leon family, where you stand? Sister Morgan family, sibling, where you stand? Yeah, stand. I'm not I'm embarrassing. I'm not trying to embarrass you. The sister-in-law, the, the daughter-in-law, stand. She's got the baby. Just, just touch her head, Tyrone. You want to do it anyway? Amen. <laughs> Healing. I'm serious. I'm, I'm serious. You, you don't know who God will put the spirit in at that moment. That's right. Glory be to God. Can clean you up instantly. That's right. And use you. Why, 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 would, why would we believe the same God would use a donkey and use a rooster and can't believe God would use a human being at the moment? In the biological family where you stand, mother and father, sons and daughters, uh, thank you, Brother Hezekiah Jr., his, his daughter. No, that's, that's Andrew. I mean, uh, uh, Audrey, yeah, thank you, and uh, uh, Morgan family, uh, my sibling, Perkins family, anybody got a biological family, stand, 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 yeah, yeah, the Glenn family, stand, yes, sir. Father and son, and the Lewis family. Come on, y'all. You, you know who y'all. Please stand. You, you represent your family. Please stand. Please stand. Yeah. Yeah. That you're in this service today. Yeah. I won't call your name. I'm, I'm not trying to embarrass anybody. Yes. 
glory be to God. And, and if you say, I'm here, but I don't have it, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost family stand. Amen. And I just want to say this, Sister Morgan and I was ministering this week, and we rebuked it then, and we're going to rebuke it now. Lord spoke to her and she ministered to me that Bishop, the enemy, has put out an assignment against us. Bishop Alger Morgan and Annie Pearl Morgan put out a hit sign, a hit assignment to destroy our family. And the same enemy that put a hit on our family, he put a hit out on your family. That's right. Amen. Even the body of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, he wanted to destroy the family. Yes. He missed it. The opportunity destroying Adam and Eve. He thought sure of what God did to him and one third of the angels for disobeying. And surely God would destroy them. Glory be to God. But God gave them a new assignment. They would go and multiply and bear fruit, replenish the earth. And he said, okay, I'll wait until they replenish. That's why I said earlier, you can't come up your God. He didn't bother when they was like, Cain and Abel was just like the little boy in Cynthia arm. He, he couldn't do nothing then. But he waited until they became ageable and made a decision that they would serve and honor God. And he allowed brother-in-law Leon, he allowed jealousy to come in. Not both of them. The devil don't need but one somebody to destroy if we allow him. Amen. Are you listening to me? He can't do it unless we allow it. And he got into Cain. They both were serving God. All of us serving God here. Family and Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No need for us to let the enemy bring jealousy to any one of us about anything. Right. And he used Abel, Cain, to kill Abel. But I rebuke the devil. He's not going to kill our influence and love for one another. Right. I'm not going to let it happen. Not on my watch. Now I want you to say this with me and it's done. I promise you, if you say it and mean it, honor God and it is done. I'm going to ask you to shout it out in the atmosphere because the enemy is going to be listening. I want to tell you what to shout out before you shout it out. I want you to shout out at three. Satan, you cannot destroy my family. Glory, hallelujah. If you love your family enough, not what they've done, you got to love them enough to declare under hell, you cannot destroy my family without a fight. Glory be to God. How do we fight? We fight in prayer. We fight in love. We fight in forgiveness. We fight in crying out for righteousness. Three! You cannot destroy my family. Hallelujah. I'm not going to go over it. I, 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 I just sense it into my spirit. Everybody didn't cry out. But you should have. And if you didn't cry out, that's a good sign. Satan is working on you. Glory be to God. But I ain't going to let him destroy my family. In respect. In, in, in respect of what they done or ain't done. I got grandsons. They're not going to destroy my grandson. They may be, I don't, I said maybe because I'm not out there. Some of you may know. 
They don't smoke dope around me. They don't smoke cigarettes around me. They don't drink around me. They don't curse. That's respect. Amen. I believe they done that. But he still can't have them. Maybe seen it. Pray for those. Pastor McIntyre. Brother has passed. Brother Ron Glenn. My glory walk. Brother passed. I want the bereaved family in this midst to stand. Minister Dale Lewis' sister has passed in Miami. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I want you to know that I believe in talking to them and Prophet Ann has visited with them. Ron had visited with them on numerous occasions. He was in the hospital and while there, the doctors was talking about putting him on a ventilator and the prophet went into the room with the family and she prayed, she just a present, causing the brother-in-law to open up and, 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 and move in a way where he was not moving. That's enough time for me to believe Ms. Lewis and visit his sister Pastor Mack done visited with his brother. That's enough time. I know it's a thin line. But if they didn't plan that, it's enough time for them to call on the name of the Lord and be saved. Hallelujah. So I want you to cry out at three. We're praying for the family. Three! Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We can do that. Thank you. We're praying. Who's here that, again, I acknowledge Brother Fred Jr. and Morgan, still in college, uh, Sierra, still in college, uh, Sister Coleman daughter, went on, uh, uh, Chikayla. That's not amnesia. I have a lot of name I have to remember. You just you just remember. I have a whole lot of name I have to remember. So I thank you for your help. And we have them still in college. And Jemiah will be going to college. Uh, Little Love. Uh, Michaela. That's what I call her by Little Love. She'll be going to college. And the same God that took care of our children through college, he'll take care of them. Please, uh, I beg of you, as Paul said, I beseech you, I beg of you to pray for them. And we from this body, we will not esteem one more highly than the other one. We're praying for all of our children. And we're praying that they would do the things that were causing them to get a good education and not be raped, not be molested, not be killed, not be murdered. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Glory be to God. If something goes on that they may not tell us, Morgan may not never tell me or Tammy what challenge she's already met, but thanks be to God she didn't yield. Amen. That's the most important part. They're going to be challenged. Come on, at three. I want you to say it with me. We're praying for you. Three! We're praying for you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now, last but not least, who in here would get up out of your seat and walk to the altar and say, Today, I accept the Lord for my personal Savior. I didn't say be filled with the Holy Ghost. I say accept Him. That's being saved. Once you come into a conscious knowledge that I need to be saved, and to be saved, you have to accept Jesus for your personal Savior. I'm not talking about the morning bench. I'm not talking about a feeling. I'm not talking about a quiver. I'm talking about an assurance. Yes. Would you come? to the altar unashamed 
and saying, today, I'm going to accept the Lord, Jesus Christ, the one Bishop Morgan been talking about, for my personal Savior. You're not too old, and you're not too young. Y'all ain't saying that. You just don't see it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You didn't. You did okay. But oh, if you could hear the angels in heaven. The angels in heaven rejoice more than one sinner that repent. Glory to God. All of heaven is rejoicing. Glory be to God. Scripture has been fulfilled in our eyes. He's not just on a healer. He's a Savior who's never will shall call upon the name of the Lord. They shall be saved. shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him, his son Jesus from the dead thy shall be saved. It's not a feeling it's not a shaking it's a belief in your heart. If you believe thy shall be saved for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Just as you are not ashamed to come up here from all these people's Facebook Live, somebody going to want to know, Brother Henry, what happened? You got to be able to say, I gave my life to Jesus. I'm saved. Glory. For there is no difference between the Jews and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon his name. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. What determined that salvation that you have received? What determined? Our future is change. When we got saved, before many of us got filled, we made the same statement. The things I used to do, I don't even want to do them no more. That's a change. And you're not ashamed to say it. Come on. Say it with me. Thank God. I received him. According to the scripture, I've confessed I believe, I've accepted, thank God, I am saved right now. Hallelujah. 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 Let the tears flow. It's all right. Let them flow. Let them flow. Hallelujah. It's an inward change that will rip to the outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He yet saved. Yes. God bless you. We love you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Somebody else. 
nothing is wrong with that. I know what I'm saying is true. Somebody else today, along with Brother Henry, that accepted the Lord for their personal sake. We'll hear about it. Glory be to God. God bless you, everyone standing. God bless you. We love you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for what you have done. Continue to support this ministry. Continue to soar where you expect to get a harvest from. And we love you on today. We're praying for those. Continue. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for Vacation Bible School. Thank you for Sister Val and Kiva and those that are carrying out Vacation Bible School. Thank you for the parents making sure they do their assignment. Oh God, the more we learn of you, the better we can live for you. May you bless us all according to your riches and glory. Bless the Baker family as they return home from their vacation. And those that got to go on vacation, be with them, God. Those that are making new transition, be with them, God. And we give you glory and praise. In Jesus' name, thank God and amen. Well, give the Lord a hand, praise. Wave at faith and life. Wave at your family on the church page and give them a God bless you. We love you. See you in the next service on Wednesday night.